Are you using the public cloud? Well, you probably are, uh, most likely. Will you use it going forward? Of course you will. But the, the, the issue is a bit more complicated. I mean, the last few years we talked about, you know, the, the physical placement of data, and, and that is important because it might solve certainly some of the technical challenges, you know, latency and, and, and speed of light. Um, but now, now we're talking more about, you know, the legal placement of data. That is also something you have to consider. Is that an issue or not? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. It's just something that you need to consider. So, so absolutely, you, you're going to have, and that, that's why we talk about this connectivity between your multi-cloud. You know, you, you're going to have a mix uh, and, and you, you need to have the ability to place a workload in your own data center at, as, as, at the local uh, service provider uh, using a colo uh, and, and um, in the public cloud. You, you, you're most likely going to have a mix of all three. You just need to get your mix right from, from a financial, because I think we only learned, we are kind of in the second wave of, of the public cloud. You know, a few years back, it was going to solve everything. It's going to save you money. You're going to make you more innovative. You know, it's going to drive a digital transformation. I'm sorry, it's not that easy, unfortunately. So you, you have also, you absolutely have the cost aspect. You know, is, is the public cloud cheaper or more expensive? Well, it depends on what you're going to do. Uh, and, and secondly, you know, can, can you get innovation out of the public cloud? Well, you can, but you need, you need to be quite innovative and skilled yourself to really tap into these uh, really cool application development or analytics platform, but you, you need your own skills to, to do something with it. And, and so, so there, there are, you know, there are many, many aspects of this. And I think we are in a maturity, second maturity phase, the second phase of the public cloud. You know, we, we understand more what it is, when it works, when it doesn't work. You know, and recently, you know, the, the legal placement of data is just another parameter you, you need to think about. It's not the only one and it won't stop if you're using the public cloud. You just need to have it there. Is it important? Is it not? Well, you and your business and probably your lawyers need to answer that one. Uh, but I think you should do it before and not as we are trying to do now, Nick, or you try it as a new item and you try to catch up what's been done in the past, you know. And that is much harder than actually having a plan and try to follow the plan and, yes. and agree on this is how we do it. But don't don't give the perception that you are slowing things down, that you're killing innovation. I think you should look at it the other way around, saying, you know, by, by doing this, we can actually make things faster. By having you know this this process in place, by having this multi-cloud connectivity, all of that in place, we can actually increase the speed of new ideas and, and bringing them to life. Whatever it is you, you're going to do as an organization. All right. So, from uh, if we skip the legal perspective, which we really can't, but if we could, uh, <laughs> I was you know one of my questions were was also, you know, who cares? Why should I care about where my data is? As long as the applications work and we're innovating and everything and so on, right? Uh, but it's it's about not only laws, it's about also, you know, cleaning your storage so they can find things when, and also become more innovative and faster and effective because you, you can use and access all these things, uh, your data in a more sufficient manner.